If Parashock talks in first person, the video ends for any video game. Parashock will try to be careful. So today, Parashock must not talk in first person. Today, Parashock will be playing on a world that he has played before and will continue his journey on attempting to beat Minecraft on his own. So Parashock has found the nether. Unfortunately, the nether will not open because of Crystal Obsidian. So Parashock did play after giving up on the last challenge and Parashock will resume to play this game without talking in first person point of view. Quite simple. So Parashock must do something about this Crystal Obsidian in order to be able to go in to the portal. So Parashock will set up base here. A simple base that'll have all his basic needs. So Parashock must first of all uh, progress to Stone Age. That's what mu that's what Parashock must do right now. So Parashock will do his... Oh hello Dolphin, nice to meet you. So Parashock must make progress in this game by advancing to Stone Age and then going deep down into the mines. And that's a very dark mine Parashock sees. What will Parashock do? Hmm. Hmm. Parashock thought this was a deep, deep cavern, but it's not. It's just very dark. So first, Parashock must look for stone and organize his stuff in a neat manner. So Parashock will start digging... Hmm. Parashock starts digging into the dirt in hopes to find stone. Stone is such a crude material, yet it's a necessity as of now for Parashock X in order to advance to Stone Age. Yes. Parashock is currently acquiring stone, but he must get a few more in order to get an abundant amount of stone tools and to build furnace too. Parashock has collected an abundant amount of stones and is going back to his lonely island in order to start building stone tools. Actually, Parashock can just put down the work crafting table right here because that is smart and better to do. Parashock is currently crafting stone pickaxe, stone dig stick, stone axe, and most importantly, Stone Sword. And Parashock has advanced to Stone Age and has made great progress. Yes. Parashock will go back to his lonely island and make a stone furnace in order to start cooking some food in order to uh, fill his hunger bar. He arrives at his lonely island and he will, he will craft a furnace so he can cook, he, so he can cook his meat. Unfortunately, Parashock realized that he does not have any coal, so he must go on a little journey in order to find coal. It seems Parashock can't sprint anymore due to his hunger bar being very low, so Parashock will resort to violence and start to hit the salmon in order to get some mm, raw... Ow! Oh no! Parashock is drowning! What will he do? He'll go resurface and uh, breathe air. Simple. So currently, Parashock is in need of some wood. Parashock continues to chop down wood and in hopes to turn these wood, these woods into charcoal. Yes, yes. Parashock X has finished gathering woods and he's going back into his, to his lonely island in order to create charcoal and to use, and use those charcoals in order to cook some, cook up some nice food for him to eat, yes. Parashock begins to burn wood with wood in order to make charcoal. Somehow this seems to be a little inefficient and Parashock now must build a chest in order to put his belongings and free up his space. But alas, he is he does not have enough wood. So he will take out some wood and he creates a chest and he'll create two in order to make a big chest. Mm. And then he will use this charcoal he has made now in order to finally create some delicious food. Yeah. And it's about to turn to night time, so Parashog must go to sleep soon and he says nighty night to the world. Once he awakes, he realizes it's time to eat his breakfast. Mmm, Parashock says. Delicious meat. Mmm, delicious. He's, he gobbles down on three lamb or 
cooked mutton, and his health is starting to go back up. Now Parashock must go on a little journey in order to find some iron. That is an important necessity Parashock must have in order to start actually making progress in this world. Yes. So Parashock prepares himself to go down into the dungeons or into the unknown in order to go find himself some iron. And without any gear, Parashock might not survive, but he is okay. For that reason, is because he is Parashock, and he is very good at this game, indeed. And now Parashock goes off to look for a nice area to start digging down, yet this place is very dark, says Parashock. See, he puts down a torch, and alas, it's just a small... It is just nothing. It was just nothing. Parashock goes off to look for a little area where it already has a pre-made cave or dungeon. At last, at last, <laughs> he finds a cave where he can start digging towards, or in, or mine, start mining in, in order to start looking for his precious iron. And Parashock begins his little journey into the cave. Inwards he go, and what a nice abundant amount of resource he found. He found coal. Mm. The basic necessity, yes, but an essential one indeed for those who are starting Minecraft. He will be doing this for quite some time. After gathering an abundant amount of coal, Parashock decides to start exploring. What, what mystery, what adventure this cave has awaiting for him. And as Parashock delved deeper and deeper into this cave system, he found nothing but an oiking pig noise and a dead end. So Parashock decides to go back to where he came from and start going the other way in order to see if he can find another pathway that can lead him to riches and great adventures. Parashock realized that this dungeon did not have much, or this cave system did not have much, so he decides to pickaxe at these remaining coals he found and go into another cave system he has found outside of this dungeon. Yes, another cave system right over there. Unfortunately, Parashock did not realize that fall damage is quite the thing in this game and took a fall damage, but it is okay because Parashock is very strong. Parashock X is very strong man, yes. And Parashock decides to go explore into this cave and unfortunately he finds a creeper. But Parashock is too strong for this little weakling of a green man, yes. Oh! And unfortunately, Parashock finds two more creeper and took some damage. Ooh. And one more creeper that that is okay because Parashock is a tough man. And Parashock decides, despite finding three creepers in a row, he decides to go deeper and deeper. And his risk has paid off for he has found iron ore. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Two measly iron ores at the risk of fighting three creepers. Mm. Was the risk worth it? Yes, says Parashock. And so Parashock decides to use this area as a beginning point to dive deeper into the mines. As Parashock X mines downward and downward, he starts to hear lava. And so Parashock decides to start mining toward the lava in hopes to find some sort of caverns or cave system or some riches he can find there. As he goes closer and closer to the noise, he starts to he starts to get worried. Will he fall in the lava? Or will he be able to get past it and find some sort of riches beyond this lava? And to surprise, he does find some more iron! Wow, says Parashock. <laughs> After collecting these iron ores, Parashock decides to continue to mine towards the lava. As he digs closer and closer to the noise, he starts to hear skeleton bowmen beyond these walls. What will he do once he encounters them? Will he die? Or will he face him like a brave man he is? We will. <laughs>